Our weather disturbed and just with the scattered type of rain that we've all been stuck in. Flood alerts up from southern Virginia through the Carolinas, Georgia, down into Florida as well. And for good reason, because we've seen quite a bit of rain over the past 24 hours where you're seeing some of these yellows. That's upwards of three inches, but especially here along the Florida Panhandle here, the northern Gulf Coast, where you're seeing some of those oranges and reds. The red is at least eight inches. Now that is radar estimated, but still, that's a lot of rain. We've seen Local storm reports popping up with not just rain reports and flooding reports, but also lots of wind with some of these storms that has caused some issues for today again up and down this region, that 95 corridor, but even including portions of the western coast of Florida. We've got that risk for some damaging wind gusts, maybe an isolated tornado. Can't completely rule it out, although that's not one of our biggest threats. This is what I'm talking about. When you've got that upper low and it's hanging out, you can kind of see just the scattered nature of some of the showeriness. We've got some storms impacting the Outer Banks this morning, but this is where your eye goes to, right? You've got that kind of tail of storms that's moving along the panhandle into the Big Bend region of Florida. Not only do we have a severe thunderstorm warning here until 745 for Taylor County, but we also have flash flood warnings in effect for cities like Perry. It's been raining for hours. We've already seen a couple of inches of rainfall coming down. Again, the radar estimate here where you see the red, that's upwards of eight inches stretching up toward Perry, three to five inches, maybe two to three inches, and it's just going to keep raining, which is a huge problem. It's coming across the I-10 and I-75 corridors at this point, so that's going to be a bit of a wet ride this morning. Not just the rain, but the lightning sticking around. If you're driving Jacksonville to Tallahassee for some reason this morning, it is going to be such a soaking ride. You can see the showers continue to rotate through Georgia, up through the Carolinas as well. Some of those storms could pack a little bit of a punch, but we're really seeing that heavy moisture feed come into the west coast of Florida. It slowly begins to drift its way south, but we're still seeing some rain across the Big Bend region. I really think we could be running into some big flooding problems across portions of Florida before all is said and done, especially when you have that steady moisture feed and the very heavy rain coming down on top of all the rain that they've already seen stuff. I just really think that we're going to have to keep an eye on especially some of those flood prone places in North